Yo! Cheers. Happy fucking Friday. I'm ready to do a brew. Are you? <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Cheers. Hey guys, it's uh, fuck it Friday, and fuck it Friday afternoon after fucking work. I crushed up some greenage. Give me a second here. Crushed up some greenage. Ooh, I'm losing some shit. That's not good, huh? I'm doing it one-handed. All right. Anyway. So, and we got our strike water up to town and getting ready to go in. So, we'll see you when we're mashing, man. Later. Hey guys, we got all do it in. Make sure there's no uh, lingering balls in here. <laughs> Just got off work. The wife's over there watching the, the grandkids. It gives me some time. So I'm going to take a final temperature and put the lid on this guy and uh, we'll let it go for now. What's up, all? We're almost done with the, with the mash. And without even covering it, we've uh, kept pretty good temperature. You know, brewing the back isn't isn't bad at all, but take a look on the inside. We're almost done. And with brewing the bag, it's pretty simple. Um, the initial uh, when I'm doing a five-gallon batch, I'll put a little just over four gallons in the for the strike water, and I'll do the mash in if I have probably maybe up to 15 16 pounds of grain if if i go that high this one's probably 11 pounds so i'm uh after the after i get this uh sparged off what i'm gonna do is i'll just grab the container over there this guy and uh this guy and i'll take him and go in the house and uh just you're gonna denature the you're gonna denature the enzymes anyway when you bring it up to a boil. So there's no use doing a uh, quote unquote mash out. You don't have to do that with uh, with this technique. So as soon as we get the, the grains rinsed, we'll bring that baby up to a boil and uh, we'll start our uh, one hour boil. I've only been at this for, let's see, at the end of the mash, it'll be an hour and probably 15 minutes I'm into this. I'm gonna be done you know the boil is going to come up to in about 15 minutes anyway and i'll be i'll be done within three hours and i'll only have to clean uh the boil pot and just the brew in the bag and the what the hops go in so yeah we'll see you in a little bit man all right so right now we got uh the grain sparks out and uh topped off the water in the boil pot Usually go right up to those uh, those little uh, bolt rivets, whatever the hell you want to call them. And uh, yeah, I'm getting up to temp. Yeah. So here in about uh, five ten minutes, we'll be uh, at a boil. So I'll see you later. All right, guys, we're uh, past the hot break. I'm gonna have to use two hands, but uh, my 60-minute bittering edition is a 0.75 ounces of Eldorado hops. So we're gonna put this in, and I will see you in a bit. Bye. All right, so we got a 60-minute bittering hop in there, Eldorado, 0.75 ounces. I think I already said it. Yeah, going pretty quick. So right now, timed on from 
the time I started until now is probably hour and 15, about an hour and 30 minutes, and I'm already on my boil. So, yeah, boil in a bag is uh, pretty quick. It shaves a couple hours off, and it's less you have to do for cleanup. So, hey, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, this is what we're doing today. We're going to make us a pepper beer. So, I just got done putting a 60 minute edition in of hops. I'm gonna go and get these, uh, uh, you know, diced up really good and uh, I will throw them in the boil without the seeds. And the boil will take care of the heat on this and just leave the jalapeno flavors. And when we go to secondary, I'll put uh, three more of these bad boys cut up with seeds in the secondary and we'll see what happens, man. I hear good things about this stuff, so cross fingers. See you in a bit. I got floaties. Cause when we're talking about rock and roll, you know we're gonna include Dr. Love! friends we're getting down to the 10 minute mark and we have a half ounce of Amarillo hops that's gonna go in and we have a full ounce of galaxy so I'm gonna put those in here in about a minute talk to you later hey all right hot 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 stuff, stuff. Stephen Going down and through the contraption again, all the way down. Take ten pyramids. floaties some pepper floaties I might eat those damn things too hell yeah almost done man get there oh, well. into the lawn it goes Dude, that shit's good. Get some nachos. <laughs> All right, so got it downstairs. Turn some light on here a little bit. And there we go. It's a little low. That's all right. That's cool, because this is kind of a, an experimental beer. Pepper beer. Had some jalapenos at, while I was uh, doing the counter flow. This stuff's pretty good, man. Take a look at that. So I gotta get some oxygen in here. I'm gonna shake the piss out of it. And then I'm gonna pitch the yeast that I harvested 
That's uh, US 05 right there. And then uh, we let her go. All right, guys. Yeah. You know, after a long brew day, I just don't give a damn about copyright infringement crap. Enjoy. Keep rocking, guys. Homebrew!